Hola mi amigos, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Verizon. I can't do that. <laughs> Just roll in the intro. Hey guys, I'm Pro Pinkeater, and in today's episode, yes, we're going to be talking about Verizon, because Verizon has announced that they are going to be making every single smartphone and future tablet 4G capable. So yes, no more 3G smartphones. They are making 4G the standard if you want to be on their network. So Motorola, Apple, Samsung all have to come out with 4G capable chips in their smartphones. So this is good because this is guaranteeing that the future iPhone 5 will have 4G and it better have 4G because coming out in late 2012, come on guys, that is late in the game if you're still running on 3G, especially when you're talking about a high spec smartphone. And this also means that we're not going to be getting no more high spec smartphones that are running on 3G like last year's uh, Droid X2, Android 3, and tons of other phones on different carriers that had high specs but didn't have 4G and that was just like, wow, really? This is also good for us consumers because that means that cheaper smartphones will also be 4G capable so you guys don't always have to throw out like 300 bucks just to buy a 4G smartphone. You guys can get something around 100 bucks or 150 or maybe even cheaper to get that 4G capability. And also, it looks like the Droid 4 is going to be at the 250 price range. So yes, it's not at that that 200 uh 200 mark that we are pretty much used to to smartphones and nowadays it's coming it's gone all the way up to 300 and that it's pretty much is like wow 300 bucks but it looks like the joy 4 will be 250. another announcement comes from motorola saying they're going to be focusing on less smartphones this year unlike 2011 2010 where they pretty much came out with a smartphone every single month and they said that they're going to be focusing on higher end smartphones like samsung and apple so i guess they finally heard me guys yeah my voice gets out there no not really but i am happy that motorola is starting to see that coming out with a new smartphone every two months is not good for business and it's not good for us consumers out there so yes motorola should be coming out with higher end phones maybe every six months now so let's hope keep your fingers crossed another announcement and i'll show you guys a clip right here just a little clip around here that cn9 is going to be getting released soon for the touch pass for all you guys out there that got your hundred dollar 150 dollar touchpad out there we are going to be seeing ice cream sandwich very soon on this bad boy or bad girl um i don't like saying bad girl it just sounds wrong but yes you guys are gonna be seeing ice cream sandwich very soon so i probably will make a video i did put um if you guys saw the vlog that i did showing uh, my iphone come in you guys saw that i showed a little bit of cm7 gingerbread on my touchpad but it looks like ice cream sandwich is going to be coming out very soon and they said that pretty much all the bugs are worked out so you get full uh, acceleration with the cpu and gpu and all of that wi-fi and bluetooth all works the only thing that they are working on is the camera and video camera but overall it looks like cm9 should be coming to the touchpad very very soon so guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and please leave in the comments below what was your guys' favorite things that was announced at ces for the most part it was just the first couple of days of was exciting and the past couple of days has been kind of ugh, whatever and guys i will be doing three videos a week now so every monday wednesday and friday because honestly there's a little bit of new tech news every single day and i want to get as much tech news out for you guys and entertain you guys as much as possible especially when i'm trying to 2012 make youtube on afro pin Kid channel and on phonage pretty much my full-time job so i really need to get you know all that news out there so i can get you know a better retirement plan from Paul because right now, this is all I have for retirement, guys. You know, and it, it's it's not that it's not that healthy. And guys, just for the record, yes, this is a Voss drinking water bottle. Voss drinking water is very good. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, poor retirement plan out. <laughs> Bum 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 b